This is a Division 1 Looney match between Cherry Limeade and Mictlan Heroes. Winner makes it to the playoffs, so this is a big deal for both teams. In this game, Cherry Limeade makes one of the most beautiful set plays I've ever seen, and we're going to start watching it from Krim's perspective here on the Tentatex Splatter Shot. They make a typical support play from the start, rolling out to an unimportant corner of the map to paint for special. This way, they're going to be able to get the special quickly, because no one's pressuring them, and they won't lose the special getting into some silly fight in mid they don't have to take. As soon as they get the special, they pop it. They haven't even seen any enemy players yet, but they already know exactly where they're going to put this. Over the wall, one high, one mid, one low, and look at where they land. Straight line, evenly spaced, right down the middle of the map, and they detonate at exactly the same time. This must have taken so much practice. This giant wall that it creates keeps Micklin heroes stuck on the top side of the map as the tower moves away from them toward the bottom. Now, Micklin heroes actually have a numbers advantage right now. They got Lily while all this was going on. But as they rotate to try and collapse on the tower, Pika pops Hammer on the top side of the map, taking out Lex and distracting Fear. Cass, the junior player, is the only player looking at the objective anymore, and they take one step too far outside their big bubbler and get splatted by Krim, who, did you catch it? Is returning from splatting the E-leader. Remember how Micklin got walled out from the bottom side of the map? That didn't just stop them from engaging on the tower, it also painted a path for Krim to walk straight up to the E-leader, uncontested by any frontliners, and take them out. So now it's just Fear who's left, and it's a miracle of mechanical play that they're able to make it out at all. Amazing coordination from Cherry Limeade to take first checkpoint. But they're not done yet! Krim has Tri-Strike again. Lex, the 52 gal player for Micklin Heroes, drops out left to use this high ground to try and defend against the second checkpoint push. Knowing that this is a dangerous defensive position, Cherry Limeade focuses it with two specials and pressure from Lily, who jumps across from the tower. The Tri-Strikes once again land at the same time, forcing Lex to hide in this little corner. Then a killer whale goes out, and with feet painted and needing to put up a splash wall to defend against Lily, Lex has no chance of surviving this. Micklin heroes are three down again, Cherry Limeade have a big bubbler on tower, and there's only one chance left to stop the tower from KOing. I have to give a lot of credit to Micklin heroes here, because this situation is played just about perfectly. Lex drops down and splats Lily in just a few frames, and I have to think he's actually pressing the jump button before he can see that the big bubbler is shredded, trusting that his team is going to have done that by the time he gets there. He's got shots on Shiny before Shiny has any chance to react, so that's two down, but it doesn't even matter because Krim has Tri-Strike again. All three get thrown at the tower, which keeps Micklin zoned out away from it, and Pika takes advantage of the strikes as a smokescreen to get free shots on Lex before Lex can figure out where he is. Lex goes down, and another goes down to the last strike. 62 seconds, three tri-strikes, Cherry Limeade KO. Tri-strike players, I hope you were taking notes.